Hey everybody, this is Joel, a.k.a. Boosterius Joel, and... MJ. From moving to... Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm so used to that, movingamexi.co. Well, there's just a shout-out to movingamexi.co. But anyways, um, Paul and Daniela have kind of moved on with the channel, doing their own thing. Uh, congratulations to them. They're, they're putting out some great content, eh, MJ? Yeah. Yeah. Some, uh, some good interviews, some good... Um, some good stories of just like people's lives. Yeah. And Paul does some great, uh, some great editing work uh, in that regard. Anyways, uh, all the best to those guys. But uh, I don't know. I've been like hanging out here. You're back in town, and I really didn't want to come back to YouTube. I started like recycling some videos. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'll just recycle some videos, and uh, and we'll uh, just kind of like keep a little bit of a channel and a presence going. And then it just, it just didn't seem. It just didn't seem right. So then when I'm like out on my horse, you know, like, cause you know I like to ride my horse every Saturday. I'm like, I just started like doing a video and then I found I could talk for basically 20 minutes about just stuff. I just ramble. Hey, Andrew? Yeah. I'm a pretty good rambler. You ramble on <laughs> I, could, I could just like ramble and you, and you have to like edit that 20 minutes down to like 12. I'm like, NJ, just like push, uh, push send. You can like upload that video, but there is a little bit of editing work uh, nonetheless, hey bud? Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, and then you, you said to me the other day, you know, Dad, like maybe we got to bring the YouTube channel back um, and, uh, you know, just do like a couple videos every week. So what I was thinking is we would uh, recycle some Taco Tuesdays, you know, do a Taco Tuesday flashback every Tuesday. I'll kind of go through my favorite Taco Tuesdays and then you and I can, uh, I don't know, shoot like a relevant video once a week with what's going on in our life, what's going on in real estate here in Bucerias. Um, Jillian's got something like 40 units that she's managing right now uh, on the rentals. So what um, we're thinking of doing for all of you is, uh, especially when you're, if you're in town, we'd love to come by and see the rental unit, but also do like a quick interview. Yeah. Like uh, with fun. Christy and Kevin, for example, from uh, Cuatro Estaciones. You know, we could go see their unit. They've got a beautiful unit. Um, it's a two bedroom, but they have that loft up there. So literally it's three bedrooms right by the pool. A beautiful place. I think maybe we even have some video. You can you can insert it. I I did that video right now. What do you think of that video, NJ? Oh, that was a great little video. It's a good little video. It's a good promotion. It's a good promotion. It's uh, interesting. I was asking Jillian because I had someone uh, reach out to me uh, the other day, wanting to come here over Christmas and New Year's, and I'm like, Jillian, can you like find a place for him to stay? She's like, we're pretty well fully booked. I think there's like a couple spaces here and there, but I'm just I'm not like surprised, NJ, but. I am surprised in a way that like all these places are just kind of getting booked, but I'm also very, very encouraged because um, especially here on the Upper East Side, we really never knew what was going to happen. People thought we were crazy to be building a place like Cuatro Estaciones, uh, but then all of a sudden people bought it and uh, now all of a sudden people are, people are renting it. You want to know why? Why? Because stuff on the other side is getting very expensive, <laughs> you know, like yeah. I talked to one guy that bought um, Oceanfront pre-COVID for 350 grand for a two bedroom, two bath. That ship has sailed. You know, Gone. so now it's like 850 grand for the same unit. It's insane. That's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. But he's renting the thing out for like over Christmas and New Year's for $18,000. Now, it's all relative, right? Because you have to invest $850,000 to get that type of rent. But people are paying that on the rent. Mm -hmm. Now there's other people who say, I can't afford $18,000 for like six weeks. In Mexico, that's not one of the reasons I'm coming here. So, you know, we start to see them come into uh, places like Cuatro Estaciones and uh, Phil's uh, Casa. And uh, what we're going to do today is a, a quick pre-finishing tour of Joel's Wine Bar and Condos. Because some of these are going to be coming up for rent very soon, too. And uh, I don't really know what to expect. I haven't been there in a few days. So but I thought we would go through anyways and just show uh, people what's kind of going on in those units and uh, just a little bit of preview of, uh, of the finishing units to come, which we can come back in, in three or four weeks and, and do like a full tour. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? So I was, I, I, cause I, my head went back to my moving to Mexi.co days, yeah. but we're from maraviyanayarit.com. We put it there, triple dub, maraviyanayarit.com. You can click on that website. You can send us a message. If you have any questions about buying real estate, renting here in Busurias or investing and, uh, we're going to be launching that investment fund soon, NJ. Yeah, coming up really quick. Yeah, coming up really quick. Um, not going to talk too much about that today. We're going to talk about that in a future video when I actually have everything ready to go.
What do you awesome. think? Anyways, you ready to go next door? Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Vamanos. Hey, it's NJ. Oh, there you go. How are you doing? Wow. You're, you're, you're coming behind the Mexican door. And that's another thing we got to bring back. Oh, yeah. Behind the Mexican door. That was people a little actually, I, I get a lot of people reach out to me often. Like, they want to see these uh, property tours and see what's behind that door. Well, that one used to be my favorite, so. It was one of your favorites? It was one of my favorites, What, did, what yeah. did you like about it? Well, you know, I just like, I think it's fun looking at uh, different houses and yeah. getting tours, and that's an easy way to yeah. see a whole bunch of cool places. This is true. Anyways, welcome to Joel's uh, Wine Bar and Condo. Still uh, no wine bar guy, uh, but we'll work on that. Um, I kind of like showing projects at the stage, because it's like, the shit storm before the calm. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, you hear the calm before the storm. We're kind of in the shit storm before the calm, so like, there's stuff everywhere. It's not a disaster. Um, it's actually not so bad, but it's a semi-disaster, right? And then the next three or four weeks, it's all gonna be pristine and ready to go. So, you know, maybe we can start on the main, main floor and what I kind of like about this. Uh, we're just finishing all the interior painting. We decided to go with grass. I don't know if that's gonna stay. It's gonna be up to the owners. Um, obviously the rain stopped, so I, uh, I called Baldo and I'm like, I need a quote really quick on a gardener to at least come in and like water and uh, trim the grass. You know, but I thought, you know, we put some plants up in here and it just gives a little bit of a softness to the edge, right? Because it's, we're in this big courtyard, it's very much concrete. And other than a pool, there was not much for landscaping. So I thought, let's put some grass. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's not a bad idea. Yeah, not a bad idea. Let's get the gardener in here and a little more trees and stuff. Mm -hmm. It'll be, be really nice. So maybe um, just before Christmas in four weeks, we'll come back. Uh, we'll water the grass. We'll get it back green. We'll get it nice and trim. We'll get some of the planting in, some of the furniture. And we'll, uh, we'll see what the, we see the before right now. And we'll get to see what the after looks like. Oh, well, you know, I, I, I do like this um, as a property there are three garage spaces uh, you know not a lot of common area but i think enough like i kind of envisioned some big plants here originally we had this open to the restaurant and it just i was, I was getting gonna feedback say. from potential restaurant owners and they're like they would rather just have it separated mm -hmm. right and it actually gave them a little more uh, flexibility with seating and all the rest so we just like blocked it off and at the end of the day the restaurant's right next door so if, uh, if people need service they can walk there or send a whatsapp and and get their delivery what do you think that sounds good maybe we should just go right to the top floor because that's where the the money shot is eh? yeah although you know what? we'll start at the bottom just because i it's pretty impressive because there's actually views from every floor Look at the view from this bit. Here before. This is slightly, maybe, um, I don't know, two and a half feet, three feet, lower than uh, our second floor. The main living room area here? Main living room, um, kitchen, uh, eating bar. I uh, love that these doors open. This is a little balcony. And then you got this beautiful space. Like a lot of times balconies are somewhat useless. You know, they're very small. Like this, you can actually have a table out here. You potentially have a little couch and it's covered. But we are going to be launching from $159,000. Okay, 159,000 US, uh, right across the street. And it's called La Maravilla Cinco de Mayo. La Maravilla, Cinco de Mayo. I'm not too sure if that's going to be online when this video comes out, but make a note if you want to get in to a new project, new pre sold from 159 grand, and this one too is going to have some units with a, with a view of the ocean. Because we kind of, um, the way we design it is we have windows to the back of the building, and then you get that ocean view. I feel this breeze. It's lovely. Isn't it lovely? We've been, we've been uh, sleeping for the last four days, no air conditioner. It's a Julia balcony. Um, the railings is getting painted right now. 
So be careful. But it's kind of nice. Yeah, it just opens up. Because you open it, and believe it or not, a lot of breeze comes in from this courtyard, and you get this whole cross breeze thing going on here. I can already feel it. And you can really feel it, yeah. right? When I just opened that. Uh -huh. Isn't that interesting? Because it almost like sucks the air through the building. Yeah. And uh, But then you get the view of the pool, and just adds so much more light. And great, uh, great windows and doors. These ones um, keep out a lot of noise. I'm going to show you this one studio. Just because the other ones are electronic blocks, and I don't know what the, uh, the code is. But here is uh, one of the studios. So what happened here was the person bought the entire floor. They get the one bedroom, one bath, plus two studios. This is the smallest studio. But as you can see, MJ, you got not a balcony that can be used, but at least when you open the entire door, it becomes part of your living area. Mm -hmm. right? You feel the indoor, outdoor. Um, you know, the bed, Murphy bed perhaps they could do there, or the bed, small. Uh, if they do have a bed, maybe like two chairs, a little side table, and that's pretty well it. Really good little rental unit, possibly. Good little rental unit. A um, couple small little bar seats that you can put here, so you have a place to sit at the, uh, the bar. This is where the little mini bar fridge goes, and there's going to be like a little, a little uh, shelf that goes over top of it. I think it's perfect. That's really nice. Uh, me and Chantal were almost going to stay in one of these. You were almost going to stay in one of these before yeah. um, adding it away. We're adding it away, yes. My daughter, she moved away. I'm really sad. Aww. She's living in Indonesia. <laughs> living the dream. So this, is, uh, this was an afterthought. This is the secret entrance to my property. Oh, well, it's not so secret now. Not so secret now. Well, this, is my, this is our rooftop. Oh, look at that. Okay, look at that. Let's see, look if we go over here. Look at that view. There's the pool. We were just down there. We were just down there. And eventually you want your apartment to be in the front. Ah, that would be nice, eh? It's going to be nice. Well, well, that's a work in progress, but uh, I'm sure in another two years you guys uh, will, will have a whole another project on top of this roof. <laughs> yeah. But we have this space here. We have that space there. So, yeah. Expansion. Expansion. Watch your step. Oh, darn it. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, they are doing what they're supposed to do. I'm supposed to lock these doors. Mm -hmm. But we did see the layout of the other apartment. I mean, you have to just imagine that apartment with just so much more of a nicer view. And maybe what we can do is go up to the roof mm -hmm. and people can get a sense of what this third floor is seeing. Yeah, because it's pretty incredible. I mean, it's higher than your house. It's way higher than our house. <laughs> and what's, what's through here? Well, that's another studio. So there's two studios attached Yeah, to. so every... This gentleman actually bought this unit and the studio, and then Danny uh, from Singapore bought that studio over there, and they built themselves a rooftop terrace. So I mean, maybe that's the great grand finale of this video. We can go check out their rooftop. I want to tell you what they paid. <laughs> Why is that? Huh? Why is that? I mean, you basically they have a three bedroom, three bath for a really good price. Mm -hmm. Right. Just leaving out because they got they got it they got in on uh, the right time they got in on a pre-sale and um, people are skittish about the pre-sales right like hey man nothing's perfect and Cuatro Estaciones was one of the ones 37 units 37 owners and eh, we can we can I'm gonna give the good bad and the ugly we definitely have some dissatisfied owners there right and that's just the nature of this business you cannot please everybody and there's going to be a certain percentage that no matter what you do, you're going to be unhappy. But what I can say about Cuatro Stazioni is, is pretty well, almost everyone has doubled their money. You know, doubled their investment, right? And um, I don't think people have doubled in this location, but if you bought a whole floor, you know, it was in the mid 300s, something like that, three bedroom, basically three bedroom, three bath with two lock-offs. Yeah. yeah. With these views and up on that, like, it ain't going, it ain't going down. Um, right. And God ain't making any more of this land, uh, which we'll talk about more in our land plan. Because this land, as much as there is here, is pretty hard to buy. Because no one wants to sell it. Because they know they have a good investment. Oh, speaking of the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> um, we had to fire our contractors, you know. And I really tried not to do it. I really tried to work with these guys. And because when you fire a contractor mid-project, it's such a nightmare yeah. to get everything back online, but we had no choice, we had to do it. And here's the thing that differentiates um, 
certain developers from other developers. We're not going to say we're perfect. We're not going to say we have all the answers. But what I will say is we're here right to the finish of every single project that we do. And I mean, you've lived with us now for 22 years. <laughs> and you've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly in Calgary, the good, the bad, and the ugly in Mexico. It's just part of the business. Anyways, this is uh, Danny's unit. Um, he's got this beautiful rooftop palapa. This is incredible. Isn't this incredible? Um, we're just waiting on from the carpenter to bring his uh, his doors. And I think that's being installed this week. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. Is like they're gonna. It's just such a nice space. This is probably one of the nicest outdoor spaces I've seen in a while. Yeah. Like in Calgary, where we're from, we pay for mountain views, right? Yeah. And downtown views. Uh -huh. Those are the two views we pay for. Downtown views of Calgary. If you're in the inner city and then being able to see the mountains. So here we have downtown views, if you can call it that, of Vallarta, La Cruz, Bucerias, all the mountains, as you said, 360 degrees, and pretty well the entire bay. We can see the entire bay from up here. Yeah. And I don't know how well the GoPro shows it, but, and watch your step range. And then here's a future development for the owners if they decide to put solar panels or, you know, I envision they're probably going to do like, maybe I, I would suggest like a, a nice palapa right here in the corner. And then you're taking advantage of all these views. The unit below us, that's their view pretty well. I mean, we're a little bit higher, obviously. So you're getting a little more of the bay, but it's pretty sweet. Well, NJ, I think that's the, the before tour for now. Again, we'll come back when the place is 98% complete, meaning we can go through some of the units, all furnished, all the common areas done, and uh, give everyone a, a feel for what the, the completed project is. And maybe next on the agenda will be to go visit some of the units at Cuatro Estaciones. What do you think? And oh, yeah. give some love to uh, our customers that have uh, entrusted us in handling their rental management, which is the, uh, the renting of their vacation rentals. And Jillian, my lovely wife, has been doing that now for 17 years. Isn't that wild? That's insane. Uh, thanks again for joining us uh, here at Busrius Joel, aka MaravillaNayarit.com. Again, if you're interested in finding out more about a pre sale, uh, if you're interested in investing in real estate here in Mexico and want uh, my thoughts on that, uh, reach out to me directly, directly joel at nicholasgroup.com or info at MaravillaNayarit.com. Julian will send that off to me. And uh, I'm going to be starting to take appointments soon. Um, as people are rolling in, I've got appointments booked. They're interested in finding out more about the investment opportunities here, uh, whether that's just investing purely in real estate or buying uh, a pre-sale. And uh, we'll help you out the best we can. And if there's a fit, if there's a fit, and if there's not, no harm, no foul. Right, NJ? Indeed. All right, everybody, thanks again for joining us from Bucerias, Mexico, on the Upper East Side. Nos vemos hasta luego and adios. Ow! Oh, I bet people missed that. Ow!